All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. So today I wanna to go over how to wire a three-way switch. Um, I took apart the switch from last time, so we're all ready to go, fresh slate. Um, so I got the switch leg right here, which goes up to our lights right here. Um, so here's my switch leg. And then I have this wire right here, it doesn't have a ground in it, but I'm gonna cut the end of this off. And this is gonna be my power wire. I'm gonna actually plug it in in the next video and show you guys how to um, hook this up and test it uh, for the three-way switches. So I'm gonna actually plug this in in the next video, like I said. So this is gonna be my power wire. And then I have the little piece, it's a little, little tiny piece of um, three wire right here, 14.3. It's probably not gonna focus, but um, it's like a couple feet long. So it's not gonna really have enough room to staple, um, but you're gonna see how to do this. So what you're gonna need is a switch leg, a three wire, and a power source. Um, so just for starters, um, the power has to be in one box and the switch leg has to be in the other box. If you have them both in the same box, it's not gonna work um, unless you are not hooking up one of the wires in the box. So power always has to be on one side and switch leg always has to be on the other side. Um, so moving forward, I'm gonna go ahead and strip this wire a little bit to enough to work with here. And then I'm going to grab my screwdriver or hammer and open up these boxes. I open up the holes in the boxes because um, it's brand new. I just mounted this box like five minutes ago. Um, so first of all, I can put this wire in this box um, for my three wire. Um, so that one can stay right there. That can be one of the three wires. I put my switch light in the box over here. Um, so this is just gonna be a really basic setup. You probably never run into this situation very often in the wild um, because there's usually more than a few wires in the box because usually you have an incoming power and an outcoming power. Um, but in this case, you might actually run into it every once in a while. So. Switch leg, three wire for the back and forth between the switch boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick. Okay, so now I know how much to strip off here real quick. Just gonna go right into the box. So before you say you didn't staple it down, I know that. Put that right in the box. Stretch it really thin right there. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing for the power wire. Just gonna cut the end of this off really quickly and strip it back. And the easiest way to strip this, this you're never gonna run into this in a while. This is just for my test videos right here. But just put your razor knife right down the middle, peel it apart, and you can strip it out. And the way to figure this out is how to figure out which is hot and which is neutral is the neutral has the um, little ridges on it. And if you've ever dealt with this, then you'll know. But there's these little ridges on the side that you can feel it with your finger and that's the neutral side. And then the, the hot side is completely smooth. There's no bumps on it. So anyways, gonna stick these in the box right now. This might not be the best for the video because probably have to put one of these um, stranded wires on the on the plug or whatnot for the makeup. Um, actually, that'll be the next video. But um, anyways, for this you're gonna need a ground pigtail. 
Uh, so let me just grab one here off of the ground from one of my older videos, piece of wire. So the easiest way to do this is to start with the basics, just grab your grounds, and then pigtail your grounds off because <clears throat> you're only gonna have one ground in the box. So you have to make two down to one. And this is not lining up at all. These wire nuts are probably a little bit oversized for the job that I'm working on right now. Probably should have some tan wire nuts. Um, so there's my ground. Take my neutral. These are just going to go right together. Not using any neutrals on the switch itself. So those are nice and tight. Once again, you have your switch leg here and your two travelers. So this side is completely done besides stuffing it in the box. On this side, I am going to this one, I would have pigtailed the grounds out, but I don't have another ground. So this ground is good to go. These two travelers are good to go. And the neutral, uh, we'll tie that together with the other neutral. And then we're gonna have the problem of trying to mount this stranded wire on the plug, but I'll worry about that next video. But I'll probably just uh, pigtail that to a solid wire for the hookup on the switch itself. This will grab if that wire nut is either stripped or it is too big for the application. So I'm going to try that again. <clears throat> so I have my neutral wire and my, my neutral wires tied together. So for this, I always like to push my, my grounds, push everything to the corners. Um, well, grounds to the corner, hots to the corner, and then neutrals in the middle push back. So I'm going to go grounds all the way back, fold it up like such. And then once again, push the ground back again for the pigtail. And then um, can fold that up. And then neutrals all the way back. Or in this case, um, you can put in a different corner, whatever is your style. I usually put the grounds and the neutrals on this side with the wire nuts. This side is a little bit stuffed right now. Um, and then once again, you have your two travelers here, which is important to remember. And then you're going to wrap the, the switch leg wire around it, uh, which turns into the common is another name for it because it goes on the black screw and the black screw is called the common, but still the switch leg, wrapping that around the two travelers because you don't want to confuse these two black wires, the switch leg and the traveler. Um, so you can do like a little quick wrap or a few wraps, whatever you want to do. Um, and then just fold those back up into the box. And once again, I like to push them back as far as possible. Um, some people like to leave it right in front for looks, and I'm not about that. So um, safety is more important than looks for me personally. Um, and then on this side, same thing, ground pushed to the corner um, like that. Fold them back. And then I have my travelers here. And then I'm just going to wrap this power wire around the um, travelers here. Usually this would be a black Romex wire, but for this application, like I said, it's going to be um, this type of temporary plug-in wire right here. Um, but And I also forgot to tuck the neutral back. So let me just 
fold that up real quick next to the grounds. And then once again, you have that ready to go. And then wrap it, it keeps coming off because it's not very solid. Um, so once you got that, just fold that back up in there. And obviously you would want this not stripped off um, for the makeup um, for safety purposes. So if something ever got turned on, it would not be shocking anyone if someone grabbed it. So you can cut that off, but I'll just leave it for the next video. And that's it. So that's how you wire in a three-way switch, two, two boxes for a three-way switch. So just like that. Granted that this was stay down like that. So there you go. You have your power, your three wire, and then your switch leg. So that's how to do that. I'll show you guys in the next video how to hook up the switches and plug it in and test it. And I'll probably throw the other light in here real quick um, for the next video. And then I will plug in some light bulbs and show you guys how it all works, how to check if it's wrong and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to uh, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Help the channel out, and I'd love to see you guys. Love to see you guys back in the next video. Check the description down below for anything else, um, and hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. I am releasing the um, my Amazon store tonight um, with my hand tools and my um, extra tools that I carry in my trunk, um, and I'm gonna try to throw as many. Um, tools that I leave at home on there as well. So if there are some tools that I have that you like and you want to buy them, um, just go down below into the, uh, I'm probably going to put it like the first link below, but I'll say my Amazon store, just click on that. It'll bring up a Word document and uh, it'll have all the links to all my tools. So check on that if you want to buy some tools that I have um, and you're wondering where to get them, I'll have that for you. So use that. I'd appreciate it. Um, give me a little bit of a commission for each sale, I believe, if they're qualified. So if you want to support the channel, hit up my Amazon store. Uh, I worked really hard on it, getting all these links ready for several hours and getting the document ready. So take advantage of that if you want to. I'd appreciate it. See you guys in the next video. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.